born in DC. My mom is from Mexico and my dad's from El Salvador. My mom was pretty much because she wanted to find a better job, you know, like most people <laughs> to um, better support my older brothers because at that time she already had kids. I'm pretty sure when, when she left, she thought it was too dangerous for them to come over, especially the way she came through. She went through the train, um, the passage of the train. Um, so I'm pretty sure she didn't want to have them go through that. They were still in Mexico for a while. Um, the first one that came was my oldest brother. And then after was my sister, she's the oldest, and then my other older brother. I'm not, I, I don't remember what age they came in, but they were still pretty young. Not even 10, I don't think so. I think it's called Avesnia, but it's supposed to be like this horrific experience because a lot of people like die through that like especially because they have to dodge a lot of like patrol and things like that a lot of people like die off from like falling down the train or some people even get raped in there so i, I don't really know how to like explain it because i didn't experience it but i imagine it's pretty rough to go through all that The U.S. is honestly like all I know. At times I feel like, you know, I'd rather be somewhere else because, you know, the whole system here. Like the system in the U.S. is kind of messed up um, in a lot of ways. But to be honest, it's better than being in Mexico because, I, I don't know, it, it just feels like more secure, I would think. Like, my mom's trying to take me to Mexico. I'm not trying to go. Um, but it's mainly the fact that when you're born here, you don't feel a connection with, like, um, your family back home. Um, at least for me. My my other family, like, like, my little brother, he wants to meet them and all that. But I feel as if, like, I'm not sure if this is, like, a bad thing or not, but I feel like, I'm not as connected to my family, like, at the point where I would want to, like, meet them because I honestly don't know anyone other than my immediate family. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not, like, thrilled to meet them. Is that bad? <laughs> my dad's family is in El Salvador. I don't know anything about them. Um, the, from my dad's family, I've only met my granddad, uh, but he's been gone for years now. Um, and from my mom's family, it's everyone. Everyone's back there except my aunts and uncles that are down at Florida. And that's pretty much it. I consider myself just Mexican because I don't um, but I just say I'm part Mexican and Salvadorian. I don't really say like American. I don't know. I guess that's just like another way you can tell that I don't really like I'm not really that proud to be American. I just don't see why America's like so high up there. I get like this whole dominance thing around the world. Um, that kind of like puts America on top in a way. A lot of countries have a bad image towards Americans, um, though it's mostly pointed towards like the American government. It's mostly general generalized to the public too. We're kind of like destroying ourselves from the inside because like at this point, America is like really divided. 